Hey guys, today I am going to talk about perhaps the greatest disaster for a local game store ever. It's MetaZoo. So this Max X TCG, he is undercutting people at $48. He does have shipping. But that means after TCG fees, he's probably making $40. Now the problem is, I believe this is a store. I don't believe this is a partner. Um, and he bought 50 of these boxes, at least 50 of the boxes that he's putting for sale. And he's losing uh, $30 a box. So in selling them all, and he's not even done selling, he still has a long way to go. In selling them all, he will be out uh, $30 times 50 boxes or $1,500. And that doesn't include his labor as well. So again, this is what they're facing right now. They're at the $48 mark and there's really no hope. And this is terrible for a store owner. Um, the only people really benefiting from this is Alpha Investments and Argos and the people who are selling for 120 or more, they obviously made their bread and butter and they're gone. So they made quite a bit of money from the at least per customer per sale that they have. And what is left is the Timmy stores, right? With 30 of these left, he sold 20 of them. You can actually figure out exactly which 20 he sold because he's selling them for 48. And now he's, uh, you know, he's out $30 a box he sells. And if he bought the boxes from a distributor at 70, which is the number Nick and Strength gave. No game store will ever carry a game like this. I'm sad to tell these MetaZoo moon boys that it is simply not feasible, not logical, and just gross for any game store to be saddled with this type of inventory. It is the definition of toxic. You bought it for 70. You bought 50 boxes for 70. You're trying to sell them for 48 with shipping. And after fees and um, chargeback potential scams, you're probably down to $40 all in in a box. So you paid $70 a box just so you can lose $30 a box. Tell me which game store can do that. And I can tell you a game store that is not going to... Uh, tell me which game store wants to do that. I can tell you a game store that won't last longer than a few months, right? You cannot make this type of mistake. Your your labor costs, your employees, if you have overhead, you have rent instead of renting a tournament, you're too busy selling the Hello Kitty set and try and promote it any way you can. And that, so whoever this Max guy is, I mean, I feel for him because he's probably some local game store, or maybe an individual investor, maybe he bought it for 120. He's not these partners. He is not these partners who are selling for 120 or $100 a box. Uh, these guys are doing great. They're doing fantastic. Your local game store, however, is not. A local game store is not going to survive on these margins. I just straight up tell you. And Alpha Investments and Pumping, and he's got his crown and the MetaZoo through the times, and uh, MetaZoo Mike will call him back any moment now. I don't see a future for this MetaZoo because no game store will take it. I speak as somebody who owns a game store. And these people don't own, these partners don't even have stores. You don't understand? They, they're the same model as Alpha Investment. They don't have a game store, guys. They don't have play. They just sell you this as an investment. And that's why Flesh and Blood, if you listen to every Flesh and Blood community, they got it right. You know, I'm not a fan of Flesh and Blood, and I don't really like their community all that much. But they got it right. And I will admit, they are a lot smarter than the people in MetaZoo. Uh, I would love to rail on them, but uh, they got it right. Eventually, somebody got to play the damn game, guys. And people go, oh, guys, there's a half a million dollars cost or cup reward. Do those people still got paid out? It's too what? It was the 2024 now. Do those guys get paid out? Are they still complaining on the thing, right? And oh my gosh, it's so amazing. The cast or cup got. And this is a good thing, guys. There's no more caster cup and prizes and stuff. I mean, come on. You got to be kidding me, right? At least flesh and blood, when they promise prizes, there's real prizes and they pay them out. This is a joke. This is a bad joke. I cannot see any game store in America wanting to carry a product they buy for $70 from a distributor that they're going to take a bloodbath. 
this is bankrupting stores. When I when I mention stores going bankrupt, it doesn't. Many people who run a store live paycheck to paycheck. This isn't a a bad mistake like this. Buying fifty or five hundred boxes, or Algos bought five thousand boxes, right? Whatever he said. Um, yeah, when those boxes go down in price to where they are currently are, when you sold them for one twenty, and right now you know you'd be happy to get forty for them, you get get free boxes worth of stuff, right? I mean, we're talking about two boxes just a, a week ago, and that was fantastic, right? Wow. I mean, we're talking about four boxes, right? You bought the three hundred dollar kit, now it's one hundred and fifty dollars. Now you can get each box in those kits, forty eight dollars combined. Boom, that's that's a hundred dollars for two boxes. And it's still going down. I just think that this whole Meta Zoo thing, I, I don't really know why they're still supporting it. Any logical human being is going to look at these numbers and say, why would a game store possibly offer gameplay? Why would they, why would they, um, you know, and supposedly they have to keep the MSRP at 140, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Why would they offer game space? Why would they offer employees who run the game internet electricity all these bills they have to pay why would they do that for a game that treats them so poorly that they're just getting they ham they're literally losing half their value overnight literally from 70 dollars I mean, it might be great if you can sell for 120 like argos but <laughs> most of these stores are selling them for 48 this is a probably a small store or a small individual he bought 50 boxes and as a spec, and he can't hold on to it because the economy sucks right now, guys. I don't know if you guys know this. The economy is really bad. I went to, I spent the all all day in the mall, and things were ninety percent off, seventy percent off. These squish mellows were seventy percent off. I didn't bring my girlfriend to tell you all about it. I was like, what the hell? This is like popular toys, right? Why is it? Things are dirt cheap right now because no one ain't got no money. And 2024, a lot of investment, a lot of smart people on Wall Street are predicting that it's going to be a soft crash, whatever that means. And they're predicting just hold on to your cash and for dear life. Now is not the time to buy a $70 product or a $120 product or a $100 product, $140 product that goes down to $48 in the blink of an eye. I mean, it goes down so fast. Look at this guy. He's got 49 boxes too. I bet you these dudes all have like 50 boxes. I bet you they all ordered 50 boxes. And now it is a race to the bottom. Um, and 48 will seem like a very good number as soon as, you know, somebody has 500 boxes and dumps them on the market. Or TCG player lowers the two collector kit to like 100. Then, then you will see real bloodshed. Bye, guys.